everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Julia, aka Make It a Mystery, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a different type of video that I've never done before. I'm going to be doing a ranking tier video where you rank things, and the thing that I'm going to be ranking is my past Halloween makeup looks. I have a lot of stuff to cover in this video, but basically, I do makeup on myself for Instagram. I do makeup on other people too, but I'm mainly going to be looking at the stuff that I've done on myself. So I do makeup on myself for Instagram and have been for, I don't, I don't have like a specific amount of time that I've been doing it for, but it's been over like three years. These looks are from the past this year, last year, two years ago, and then three years ago. I just compiled like all of the looks that are either looks that I did during October of, of one of these years or just like some looks that I've done that are like cosplay almost or special effects or something that's more intense than just like beauty makeup or something that's more like either inspired by a character or something. Not all of these were done in October over the years. Most of them were, but some were just ones that I felt like fit the theme. Like some of my Scooby-Doo looks that I did, I didn't do those in October but I still included them because I mean it kind of fits and this is my own video, this is my own tear maker so I can do whatever I want. I do like, like sometimes I'll watch these videos, the tear maker videos, and people will only have a few things to rank and I'm like, I like, when I do a ranking, I want to do like a lot of stuff. Alright, let me show you, I'm going to start screen recording. So this is what my chart looks like, chart, right, such a, this is what my tier list looks like. I titled it Halloween Makeup Looks, ranking all my past Halloween or cosplay makeup looks. And okay, so here are the categories. I chose to rename them because I feel like when you do these lists, it's you get a better understanding of yourself and the things that you're ranking when you kind of make them your own. And I do rankings really weirdly, like, I don't know, so <laughs> let me get into it. The top category I call it the most iconic, which that's kind of a basic name, but I couldn't think of anything to describe like my best looks. It's like quality, you know, um, camera quality, like precision, like color scheme, um, overall like composition of the look, of the photo, like every like little like check in my boxes. Cause I'm such a perfectionist, like every, when I look at it, I'm just like, this is what I go for when I create things. This is what I want all of my creations to look like, you know what I mean? Most of the ones that I'm going to be putting in this category are from this year because this year I upped my camera quality, I stopped taking my makeup photos on my phone, and I switched to taking them on an actual camera. So these ones definitely, like the composition of them has improved so much in the lighting. I mean, I had good lighting before, but just the quality of the photo is a lot better. And um, I think over time my skills have also improved. Um, and a lot of the pictures, I don't know, when I do makeup pictures, like especially more intense, like Halloween or colorful makeup looks, I like to just have my face in it. Like I always do full face pictures. I sometimes do eye, only eye pictures, but you'll see uh, later, like when I first started out, I did mostly eye pictures and they're so bad, some of these, like, but at the time it was like the best I could do. So. Then the next category underneath the most iconic, I called it cookie cutter. And the way I would describe the looks that fit in here are like, Kind of your typical beauty makeup Instagram person like looks like I don't know I my favorite looks that I do are the ones where I come up with the idea myself or it's inspired by something but I kind of add my own little twist on it and I don't like copy it I'm not a huge fan of doing looks like inspired by people I think sometimes taking like concepts from other like people you see, other makeup artists you see, obviously crediting them, of course. Um, credit people at the beginning of your caption because I hate when people credit at the bottom of the caption and it's like no one reads all that, like they're not gonna see it. I don't wanna just be same old, same old, like cookie cutter, Instagram makeup artist. Like, you know, I wanna have my own thing, and, like create my own concepts and have my own style almost. And I feel like I have gotten my own style over the years and I still have so much more to improve with everything. These looks are good. I like these looks. I think objectively they look good, but there's no, or there's not a lot of like individuality. It's more just kind of not copying, but just kind of fits in to the everyday Instagram makeup, which I don't even know what that is. I, whatever. Next category I did was she tried her best. So these looks in this category are ones that I'm not fond of. But I did everything I could in the moment, and I still don't think I can do better at this moment. 
like these are looks that like whatever it was that I was trying to attempt was very very difficult and like good for her like she tried but you still couldn't like fully have it be what you wanted it to be what I was trying to do was just like impossible or just out of my bounds of like skill level maybe let me get into the next category and then below that is could do better now and I think I'm going to end up putting a lot of my older looks in the could do better now category because I'll look back at like two years ago and I'm like this is a cool concept but like imagine me doing that exact same look now <laughs> like she would kill that you know a lot of my older looks were original concepts and stuff that I kind of created on my own just playing around with makeup but the technique wasn't there the artistry wasn't there it's just gonna be me overly critiquing all of my looks and then being like really egotistical about the ones that I think I did really well on. <laughs> There's a lot in here that I definitely could attempt again. I probably won't because it takes time and I've already done it. But I know in my heart that like if I redid this look at this moment on October 29th, 2020, with that camera and my skill level now, I know it would be so much better. The last category is just pretty pretty simple. Just everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those dates. So most of the ones that I'm going to be putting in there are probably some of the looks I did three years ago because she didn't know what she was doing. Like, I was just kind of having fun with makeup, you know? I, I didn't have, like, any strict rules for myself, which I guess was kind of fun because it was just, like, my senior year of high school and I was just, like, having fun. I, like, was mainly just going to school and working and then makeup was, like, this little, like, fun thing that I would do that didn't take me very long but once the years went by and I got more serious with it now even though my looks are very much they're, they're much better quality obviously than they were three years ago which was my senior year of high school the looks I do now are very time consuming and it's like you know you're doing a good job at a lot of these but it's not some like little thing that I just do after school like oh it's so fun like I mean it is fun but it's just like the time commitment for like filming that everything is just so much more like everything's on a much bigger scale than it was three years ago I think this video will be interesting honestly it's not that like widespread of a concept that I think many people will be into but if anything my future self can look back at this video and reflect on the looks I did then and then reflect on the looks and makeup skills I have in the future. I think Abby Williamson, she's one of my favorite content creators, I really like watching her videos. She did a video uh, ranking her past Halloween costumes, and I don't even know if I could find all the pictures of mine, all my like childhood Halloween costumes. I kind of was inspired by that concept of doing like a ranking, but applied it to my Halloween makeup looks instead of Halloween costumes. Looking back, on what I've done in the past and comparing it to the future. I'm all about just like, reflecting on my life and looking at the progress that I've made. I'm all about personal growth. Like, all I really care about, the only thing I really care about in life is just personal growth. That's about it. I am just going to start bringing these. Okay. So, first one that I'm going to do is probably the earliest Halloween look that I can find. I'm pretty sure I did this in September 2017. I remember I did this look because we had school off for hurricanes I'm pretty sure. I had days off from school and I remember like some things were still open so like I went to the movies to see it and then I had like days off from school for, because of the hurricane. I did that because I was like well I have days off of school so I'm just gonna play with makeup and like get better and practice. I remember taking this Instagram tour I was like hurricane days so I'm practicing makeup. This it look I actually like it I think the color scheme looks really good like i used some yellow on the lid and then i did like the red eyeliner with the red lips but this is before i knew how to do like an accurate cut crease like i would just kind of blend the shadows carefully in the crease but i didn't know how to cut out my crease with like makeup remover and then put concealer on the place where you want the lid shade to go like i didn't understand like what i have on right now like that's a true cut crease you know because it's sharp but this is before i knew how to like fully do that so I kind of just like blended everything together and but it's not like bad like I did some grays and browns and a crease like it's reasonable my hair isn't like nice like it looks weird so I think I'm gonna put this in could do better now because I know if I recreated this look and did the same exact color scheme with like the red liner and everything like I could 
100% make it really cute. I think I might have actually recreated this look. Recreated this look last year. Oh, I recreated this look like maybe a year ago. This is me just like reflecting on my look, so if it was boring, please don't watch this. Last year, I didn't even do that intense of a cut crease. Like, it looks like I barely even did a cut crease. Like, what was she doing? Like, obviously the lighting in this photo is better, the composition is better, but it's still not like I could do better than even this one, and this one was less than a year ago. So, this is a better makeup application overall. My skill level, it was a good look, for sure. Okay, so this one is my very first look I ever did using any kind of special effects makeup. So I was using a lot of fake blood in this look, and that's about the only thing I really used. But I got this fake blood from Home Depot, because you know how Home Depot has that, like, Halloween holiday kind of section, you know? It's like with, like, blood on my face, like, it looks like I'm, I've been, like, punched almost. I think that's kind of what I was going for, the type of blue. I think I did, like, a natural makeup look for school, and then when I came home from school, I did this, like, fake blood thing and bruised look. I remember showing my mom and my brother the pictures, and they were like, whoa, that looks so realistic. And looking back, it doesn't really look realistic. I'm looking at it from far, it does. <sighs> But like, what kind of wound is that, you know? Like, where is the, the opening to the skin? Like, if there's blood, there has to be like some kind of like wound, you know? Like, every time I look at special effects makeup, I'm just like, is this accurate? I think I'm gonna go with Could Do Better Now. I think it was good for the time, and composition-wise, it looked good. I took this in my kitchen. It's not like, I had to like run around my house and like find good lights. So I also did this one around at the same time that I did the It look. I did two looks apparently when we were like in the house because it was a hurricane. This look was supposed to be inspired by like a Joker theme. Like I was inspired by the poster for the Killing Joke, I'm pretty sure. Like the green, purple, and then I like flip flopped it. Like one eye was like a purple crease and the other eye was like a red crease, but I didn't have super vibrant eyeshadows at the time. Green looks pretty vibrant. I don't even know what shade I would have been using at that time. I forget like when I got certain makeup products and like what years. But <clears throat> I think my eyebrows look kind of weird. I think I might be wearing fake eyelashes, but they're small ones, so you can't really show up. It doesn't really show up. As you can see, a lot of the looks I did three years ago, 2017, were like close up eye picks. I did some full face. Most of the ones I did that were full face did not look good. Like, I didn't know how to take pictures of my full face. I could only do like the details of the eye. I like occasionally doing just an eye pick or like this portion of the face or like super close up but like just because it's really close up the photo doesn't mean that you just have to get the eyes like you would get the lips in there you get like a little bit of your nose or like the highlight like i'll put an example right here of these photos that I, like these close-up photos that i took that i really really like i want to do more stuff like this like kind of macro shots but it doesn't have to be just the eyes it doesn't always have to be the exact same frame and like composition Anyway, I used to do like, I think I, I always take pictures of this side of my face, like sometimes I do this side, but most of the time it's this side that I take pictures of. When, when someone else is taking a picture of me, I can do this side as well, but for some reason when I'm taking pictures of myself, my left side, and I'm right-handed so I don't know how that like plays into things, but like my left side, this is where I get like my piercings on my ears, this is like my angle that I take my photos at, like when I'm facing the camera, I'll be tilted a little bit this way, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it's just interesting. <laughs> that Joker one and everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days. Because even though I could do better on this look now, it's kind of a basic look. It's just like a red and purple cut crease with like a green lid. Like why am I spending so much time talking about it? I think for everybody makes mistakes, I'm just gonna put ones that like obviously I could do better now, but it's more just something when I look at it, I'm just like, Oof. Like, I don't like it at all, like, in the slightest. A lot of these are gonna go in that category, actually, now that I'm looking back. Okay, we'll do one more that is a little bit better than that here. This one, it's like this spider web kind of. I'm sure, this was inspired by someone. And it's actually a good look. This look did really well, like, so just looking at, like, how I blended that eyeshadow and, like, how thick my brow was in this picture. And then I have a highlight on, like, my skin looks dry, but then I have, like, a highlight. Like, I hate that. I hate when, like, skin looks, like, dry, because I have really dry skin. But then you put highlighter on to like mask the effect of like dewy skin. <laughs> and it's like, no, your skin was dry and you just put a highlight on. Like, you're fake. I could do a lot better now, so that's why I'm gonna put it in that category. But it's not as bad as some of the other ones because even though it's just eyeliner, all it, all it is is eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna like try to get through these ones really fast because they're pretty simple. This one is like red and purple eyeshadow with like red glitter. I used to have a ton of glitters, I still have them, but I don't use them as much. And I try to incorporate glitter a lot more into my looks, like loose glitter. I don't use a lot of glitter now. I honestly just forget that I have it. 
and it's not like it's ever gonna go bad because it's glitter. This one honestly I don't like very much because I didn't even blend the crease shade that high up into the like to my brows. And usually I like when I blend my eyeshadow like really far up. And it's just bad. So I'm gonna put this in everybody in Beauty Space because even though I could do a better job now, I still just don't like it like genuinely like I don't like it enough to recreate it. The next one is a full face picture of this. There was no effort put into this look whatsoever. Like I do a better job at makeup on a regular basis, not even for doing looks than I did in this look. So I just did like a regular eyeshadow, a natural lip, and this like eyeliner that looks like it's supposed to be like purple, but it's so like muted that you can't even tell. I think I got it from NYX, but it's like really watered down. I'm like, pretty sure I got it on clearance or something. Then I just added this cobweb design on one eye, and also my hair looks bad. And the lighting is terrible. I think I took this in front of a lamp because I didn't have a ring light at this time. So I literally, I either took pictures in front of my window or in a room where there was a lot of natural lighting. I'm gonna put this in Everybody Makes Mistakes because clearly I learned from this experience. Like, my foundation doesn't look bad though, and the lip application looks good. Everything else, I don't like the shape of the liner. I look so young in that picture too. Like, she looks like a child. I was 18 then. I look like I just turned like 14. The next one is this eye that's like purple and in purple and orange, which is basically what I have on now. And I've done a lot of purple and orange Halloween looks, but this one, just the way that the orange shade doesn't even blend into the crease, barely see the purple in the lid because you didn't know how to do a proper cut crease. And then I did this graphic eyeliner thing, but I didn't understand that you had to do graphic eyeliner like kind of above your crease, so I would put it in my crease, and then it would always smudge, and then I had to like work with it for so long to get it to work. I don't know why it took me so long to understand the way to do cut crease, where like you have to put it above your crease, not in your crease, because if you put it in your crease, you won't be able to see it, and it'll smudge. I zoomed in a lot, so you can't see the full tear maker while I'm doing this. It's just like a close up of all the looks. Yeah, I'm going to be making this full face look. I think this was actually inspired by Nikki Tutorials. This like kind of blood splatter eyeshadow look where she did a normal eyeshadow like crease, like not crease, but like winged out eyeshadow. And at the time, I didn't do a lot of winged out eyeshadow. I didn't know how to do it really. So all of the looks I did where I did a winged out eyeshadow did not look the greatest. And this one is a good example because it just looks so chunky and like not blended out. I did like a little bit of blood coming off the lip. It's like the tiniest amount. That doesn't, it just doesn't work like that. You can't do it. I think it was you took like a sponge or something with like a texture to it and you dipped it into fake blood and then put it on top of the crease, if that makes sense. Like, so it looks like your normal eyeshadow and then the blood is splattering. I just remember Nikki tutorials doing a video on that and I'm so inspired I was like I need to do this and then I did that black lip and it just looks so washed out like my face has no dimension to it the blending was bad I think I'm gonna put this in could do better now even though I don't like the way this looks so the next one I'm gonna do is this like all over green look and honestly this is just kind of a boring look like there's nothing special about it so I think that's why I'm not a huge fan but it's not bad because I didn't have to do anything that complicated I think my brows kind of look good so I'm gonna put this in cookie cutter because I don't like it, you know, like it, it doesn't look that great, but it's just like green with a chunky kind of wing, but I like that I took a risk with doing a more like intense wing instead of doing like a little sliver of a wing, you know, like I really went for it. So the next one's a full face one that I already know I'm putting this in Everybody Makes Mistakes because this look is so bad, like I think this was inspired by somebody, but I can't remember who. Do you remember that trend? A couple years ago, three years ago to be exact, during October where it was like a cut crease but you put fake blood or you put like a blood effect in the cut crease so it looks like your crease was like actually cut and then some people would draw a little knife on the side of their face like I think I'll put a picture right here and I did not do a good job because one you don't know how to do cut crease at this point in your life you literally can't do a cut crease to your life and two I felt like I think I just used fake blood for this and I didn't really use any other things to give it dimension or make it look more realistic. I just used the fake blood that I had. All these looks just look boring. Like, there's nothing exciting. The next one I'm gonna do is definitely going in Everybody Makes Mistakes because 
I really don't like the way I did the eyeliner. So I guess I did this look that was like Halloween colors that was like orange green. I just don't like how I put like a random line of eyeliner under my brow bone. That just looks weird to me. And I couldn't blend for shit. Like, look at that crease. There really is no crease. It's just like purple on the lid. I have no memory of doing this look. Absolutely no memory whatsoever. I think where I put the yellow eyeliner. This one was like kind of a clown like abstract clown inspired makeup look like I have a little like clown lines coming out of my eye and then I did an eyeliner and it's kind of like you can't even tell like you can't even see what I did I tried really hard to do to like get a good photo of this look but it just was not working out you could have amazing skill at doing makeup or at doing whatever you do but the way you take pictures of it the way you display it might not translate like you might be a great makeup artist but you can't take photos of it well or like you don't know how to take photos with good lighting or you don't have a good lighting setup like it's so crazy how it's not just about doing makeup you know it's about like knowing lighting knowing photography knowing composition knowing like typical art techniques it, it's there's so much that goes into it you know so but most of these looks i didn't even have the technique so it didn't even matter <laughs> okay, i think there's one more from that year 2015 this one is another eye picture of my own. I think I was trying to do like blood splatter on the eye. So I did like a green eyeshadow look. And then I did like blood splatter on the eye. Like what is this? And then I have like two little drips at the bottom. Like this looks so ugly. Like yeah, so this one is just weird. Like it doesn't look like blood. It just looks like red splotches on my eye. I just don't like the way they turned out anyway. So the next year was 2018 in the fall. And I, I didn't do very many looks this year. This was, okay, I, I don't want to get too personal on my YouTube channel, but this does give some context. This was the year that I was going through a lot, like, um, like mentally, but also physically. Like I had a lot of medical issues this year and I was constantly like in pain, like chronic pain. I have Crohn's disease, so, but this was before I um, had been on any medication for it. So I was just always, just really going through it. The amount of looks I did this year was I got better at taking like a full face picture instead of just doing these stupid little like eye close ups that didn't even look good. So I think I figured out how to do a cut crease, but it still wasn't great. So just let you know, like this year in 2018, um, these four looks. I was really going through it around this time. This look that was inspired by the American Horror Story cover. I'm pretty sure around this time I was watching, I think it was Asylum. I've literally only seen the first two seasons. I've only seen Murder House and Asylum. I didn't know how to cover my brows at the time, so you could tell. I don't even know what I used as white face paint. I don't remember. So I'm definitely gonna put this in you could do better now because I definitely could. This is not that complicated of a look. All I would have to do is paint my face white and then do the like black outline. How am I looking at it? The black drips that I did look really good. Like it looks like that's actually like dripping down my face, you know? So maybe I should put this in the most iconic. I'm just gonna keep it in, could do better now, but I really do like this look. The black drips look good. I just didn't do a good job at covering my eyebrows. I still don't really know how to cover my eyebrows, but I think it's just because I never really need to. This is when I dyed my hair red orange. It was like a blood orange. If you've seen my hair journey video, you'll know more of my thoughts on why did I do this to my hair? I have no idea. I just, it was on a whim. I decided to dye my hair this bright red color. I still have roots, so I don't know. And it only lasted for like a month. I was like, well, I have this bright red hair. I'm kind of going through it right now. I should do a Jessica Rabbit look because she has red hair. This is like the perfect opportunity to do a look inspired by her. So I did. And I don't know if I like the brows because I used to use liquid lipstick to fill in my brows. When I had orange and red hair, I would actually do my brows to be orange and red. I should probably do that more to fill them in to be like a bluish. Now I did that in my last Get Ready With Me if you want to watch it. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Honestly, like I just felt really good when I was filming it. My little lip application looks really good and my foundation looks nice. My hair is straight, like well I guess she has straight hair so it makes sense, but why doesn't she try her best? I want to put this higher than could do better now. I could do better now, but I do really like this look and I think she did her best in the moment. I was also like going through a lot and I was, I had so much anxiety this time for dyeing my hair that color because I was just like, I've never had a color this gray before. I'm so nervous. In that moment that that photo was taken, I was not doing well. Most of the time I was not in all of these.
And then I only did one other look with this hair color. It was like this green slime look. It really didn't take that much effort. I think I'm gonna put this in She Tried Her Best. At that moment, I really was trying my best. <laughs> Mixed my brows to be this like reddish brown color to match my like roots slash match the rest of my hair color. I'm not a huge fan of this look, but my hair does look really good and I'm glad I, I'm glad I, I did it. Um, you know, I was going through a rough time in my life and I still managed to do a few looks, you know, that don't look bad. My next look, I, this is the first time I ever bought a wig. So the first wig I've ever bought was this like orange Party City Amazon. Well, it's not from Party City, but it's like that kind of vibe. Party City wig. I have a couple pictures in it. <laughs> and it's this orange wig and I still have it and I still used it this year. I used it one time this year. And it's not a bad wig. It's, it always like does me well. I always like manage to work with it pretty easily and it never like fails me. Bangs look a little messed up and I think I tried to do a look inspired by Daphne but it wasn't like actually trying to look like Daphne. It was just like I have this orange wig. So, yeah, I did my brows like this really like bright orange color but they didn't look good. Like, like I think I used a liquid lipstick for this but it didn't look good. Like, I, I filled in my brows to be orange in my Chucky makeup look, which I'll talk about eventually, and they looked really good, and I just used an orange eyeshadow. Like, why did I feel like I had to do all this, like, extra shit, like, with using a liquid lipstick and stuff? Like, you didn't have to do that. And also, I had these fake eyelashes that were really chunky, way out at all. They didn't really fit my eye shape. I was wearing those in that picture, and I did not really count these. Next ones that I'm going to talk about was definitely when I... Like honed in on it and I was like, okay, like I actually do this. I take it seriously. Not fond of all. Some of them I think are better than others for sure. Not all of them I did in October because some of them just kind of fit the theme or like cosplay or full face makeup looks. So we're gonna go through those. Next on to last year's looks with the first one I did, which I my memory is not the greatest, but I think. I think the first ones I did was, I did the Hex Girls, basically, like I cosplayed all three of the Hex Girls, Thorn, Luna, and Dust. This is the girl in the Hex Girls that is blonde, the one with the cute little pigtail, she got some nice green earrings, and she has green lipstick on. I did the blonde wig that I have, I have this blonde wig with bangs, and it usually works out pretty well for me, but the way it photographed in these photos was really really good. I was really proud of this look and I thought it was really cute. I'm honestly gonna put this in the most iconic. I'm not gonna put it in cookie cutter because I can't see other makeup artists doing this look. Like I I think I've seen some people do Hex Girls looks but I did it last year in 2019. This look, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it could be a lot better because I did this red wig that you'll see that I use in a couple other looks. It's not bad. Like, it, it doesn't look bad. It's just the fact that, like, in this look, I didn't really blend the lid shade to the crease very well. So the crease, I should have just not done a cut crease on this look. The crease was like a black sparkly cut crease look. But I did like an actual cut crease when in reality I should have just done a reddish black smoky eye instead of doing a precise cut crease. Like it would have looked so much better and I don't really like the lips. I think I should have just done like a dark red lip instead of doing the top lip black and the bottom lip red. I think this one is going to go in... I think it's going to go in She Tried Her Best because even though... I like this look. This one, even though it's Thorn, she's my favorite. I love her. She's such an icon. So Luna, who Luna looks like this. She's the one with orange hair. Luna, her color scheme is purple and orange. So uh, I don't mind Luna's look. I think it's very cookie cutter. It's very cookie cutter. Even though this isn't a look that I would think that other people would do. You know, like, I couldn't see someone else doing this look, but there's nothing about it that, like, jumped out to me. Whereas in the Dusk look, for some reason, that look just visually, when I'm staring at it, it just jumps out to me. And I love it. I love looking at it. Next, I'm going to talk about this look that I did, which honestly doesn't look very Halloween-inspired, 
but I did do it in October. This is when I first dyed my hair fully blonde, like bleached my roots and everything. It's like the only picture of this look that I actually liked. This look, I did this spiderweb eyeliner type thing, similar to what I did a couple years ago, the one that I talked about before, a kind of basic Halloween look. I think I'm gonna put it in could do better now. The way my hair kind of like covers the eyeliner, like I wouldn't do that now, obviously. The next one I did was, this is honestly one of my favorite looks that I've ever done in my entire life. So this is when my hair kind of healed and I started styling it. It wasn't slathered in coconut oil at this time. And I really wanted to use this little skull that I had because I wanted it to be like Hamlet where I was holding up the little skull. My hair was obviously freshly dyed, you know, I didn't have any root growth, it looked great in the moment. So I had to take a break because I attended this masterclass on Zoom. It was hosted by Colourpop Cosmetics and also Lavigan Prince on Instagram, uh, Jose. He was the one that was doing the makeup look and he did this like devil inspired makeup look. I didn't actually follow along because I already had my makeup on and I didn't really feel like recreating it, but I did pop on some lashes, I did some eyeliner, um, I fixed my blush a little bit, so the look is a little bit more intense so I can finish out this video, but I really want to finish ranking these because I feel like I've gone on so long doing this and I'm kind of over it, like, no, I'm not over it, but I want to quickly get through the rest of this video. This is the last video I'm filming until like late November. This one I did, I'm pretty sure I did the Harley Quinn makeup look and I have two Harley Quinn makeup looks actually in this tier ranking because I've done two of them. They're both different. I think this look was actually inspired by Abby Roberts because I know she had done some kind of abstract line work type of look that was like coming down from the eyes almost and I was inspired by that but I did my own kind of interpretation of it. I think I'm gonna put this in cookie cutter Wait, okay, listen to my explanation. I don't think this look is that basic. I think there are more basic looks than this one that I could have done. But I guess since I was inspired by somebody else and it wasn't a concept that I fully came up with myself, I mean, I guess it is kind of different because I combined two different things. I combined Harley Quinn and then this like abstract sort of look from Abby, but I'm still gonna put it in a cookie cutter because I think I liked my other Harley Quinn look a little bit better than this one, even though I do like this one a lot. And then after that, I did a look inspired by Joker. I hadn't seen Joker, but everybody was doing looks inspired by the makeup that he has on. Joaquin Phoenix. The makeup he has on. I still did a look inspired by it. I didn't actually see it until this year. The makeup was fun because it was just like face painted and I didn't have to be super precise with it because it was almost kind of messy, but it was supposed to look really messy. I'm gonna put this in the most iconic because I added, my hair was bleach blonde at the time, so I was able to take my green face paint and put that all over my blonde hair, and it totally made the look like, so much better because imagine like this look without the green hair. Like, it just wouldn't work. So the next one I'll be talking about is this bob. This one is probably one of the best looks I've ever done in my entire life. Anybody is a fan of Twin Peaks, you know, like, obviously, who this makeup is inspired by. I really love this look so much. I think it was so funny because at the time, I had my really light hair, and I had toned it, and the toner that I used made it look kind of silverish. So, if you've seen Twin Peaks, you know Bob, the character, he has gray hair. So I was like, I should turn myself into Bob. I could do, like, the, the like, makeup that makes you look a little bit older, like shave my face to look more like a man's face, and I did that. I think the shading could be a little bit better, that's why I'm putting it and she tried her best and not the most iconic. Um, and then the blood that I used, I wish I had fake blood for this look. I used some face paint and I think I did the best I could at the time, but now I would make like the gash in the head look a little bit more like wounded and make the blood drip look a little bit more realistic like it does, but I think this concept was probably one of my best look concepts that I've ever had just because it's such an iconic scene if you're a Twin Peaks fan like it's literally the very last scene of season two that's the last thing that anybody ever saw of Coop and those characters for a really long time if you don't include Fire Walk with me which is a prequel so it's different but just that scene is just so important like to the Twin Peaks community I guess or at least it's really important to me because I just think it's so 
just pivotal in my mind. So yeah, I love that bob look. Like that looked in really well on Twitter because I follow a lot of people in the Twin Peaks fan community kind of on Twitter. So that look was like, everyone was like, what? Like, oh my God, this is so crazy. And I think, I just think it's funny because like I'm just like at the time I was 20, like a 20 year old girl <laughs> pretending to be this like scary old man. He's not old, but you know what I mean? Like he had gray hair. The next one is Pennywise makeup look. And now that I'm, now that I'm looking back at it, I'm just like, like the nose looks weird. I tried adding this loose glitter to the nose to make it more like unique of my own thing and I don't like the lips. I added these like abstract white shadows <laughs> to make it have dimension but it just looks weird and then I don't like the way I did the wig. I think I'm gonna put this in could do better now but honestly like I don't think I would want to do a look like that now. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in she tried her best. This one I did a look inspired by Sally. Mine is the wig. I really like this look. I think this is one of the first times that I ever did like my full face a different color than my normal foundation. I obviously did, well I had done like white, like painted my face white to do a look, but I had never done any other color. So in this look I did a light blue, because obviously if you've seen The Nightmare Before Christmas she has like blue skin and she's got like all the stitches on her face and like her arms and stuff because she's like you know, sewn together. I figured since I had the red wig. Um, people would understand that I'm Sally and not the corpse bride, you know? Okay, I do not know what is wrong with me with starting the film and then having to take a bunch of breaks, but it's obviously still the same day. I just took my earrings out and I put this sweatshirt on because I was cold. So I'm just gonna finish breaking the rest of these and we'll be done with the end. I did a really skinny nose contour. I made the contour especially in the eye area really intense because you know like the Tim Burton characters they got a really chiseled face that one the most iconic for sure and then next this look definitely is more cookie cutter to me because I was inspired by someone else's look to do this look all it is is a gold eyeshadow look so a little bit of like lines right here like red and then blood on the neck like you know it's not super out of the box and I got my inspiration from somebody, so that one is going to the cookie cutter folder. It's still a good look. I think the blood drips looked really realistic because I mixed honey and red face paint, or it was like red face paint, eye, red eyeshadow like to make it the honey red, so it looks more realistic here, but I should have just purchased fake blood because it was so sticky, but I had heard that that works if you don't have fake blood. Next. I did this makeup look inspired by the White Queen from Alice and Wonderland, inspired by Anne Hathaway's The White Queen, because I did a collab with this other makeup artist. She did the Queen of Hearts, and then I did the White Queen. It's platinum hair, and then a nice red lip. It's cookie cutter. I think it was good. Like, I really like this look. Like, looking at those lashes, I think it's so pretty. And just the way I shaped my lips. In here and just the fact that the eyeshadow is so simple and I had in these brown contacts I think this is such a pretty look like this is a look that I should be more inspired to wear on a daily basis next look is okay so I did this look inspired by Mother Gothel the Mother Gothel as an old woman since I didn't have a curly black wig so I decided to be the old version of Mother Gothel with white hair because I had white hair and this look, I think I did like the old people makeup thing where you do the shading and make it look like you have wrinkles. Obviously, it does not look realistic. This is an area of special effects makeup that I need practice in. I've only done it a few times, like in that Bob makeup look that I did. I think that's the only other time I've done like old person makeup almost. Really fun. And this one's very shocking. I can be Mother Gothel because she's one of my favorite Disney villains. And she's got like the best Disney villain theme song. Don't come crying, mother. So I did the old version of her and I got to practice doing old person makeup. Okay, so next one, I did this zombie makeup look. This one I don't like because I think the blood, the look, whatever I was trying to go for, don't look realistic. I think the zombie skin, like the, I kind of try to make my skin look dead almost, or whatever like zombie flesh looks like, you know what I mean? It's like this grayish, greenish 
cool things and stuff. I definitely could do a lot better now. And the composition of the photo is not the greatest. But I'm gonna put it in She Tried Her Best. Just because I don't think it's cookie cutter because it's just like a random zombie look. Like, okay. It doesn't feel basic to me, but it doesn't feel extraordinary. So I'm just gonna put it in She Tried Her Best. So I did this like bat look with face painted bat wings and bat outlines all over my face. I did an orange lip, a pretty simple eye, and then this orange wig. I'm gonna put this in the most iconic because at the time, and still, I really like this look. I think I had to face tune it a little bit because some of the black face paint on the bats wasn't showing up like super matte. It was kind of shiny. Nowadays, I would obviously use a better face paint. <laughs> Overall, it, it's a good look. Like, that's a good photo for sure. Then next, I did this witch look, and this is actually the look that is my profile picture and the look that has been my profile picture for a while. I'm considering changing my profile picture, so it's been about a year, and I'm thinking of changing it to, I don't know what look I'm gonna do, but I wanna do like a look that's a little bit more natural because I kind of want my profile picture to be something that I can use for non-makeup related things, but still look like glam. I don't know, I guess I could take like a separate photo for like LinkedIn. I've been trying for the past year to have the same profile picture for all of my platforms. I don't know, it's much to think about, like facial recognition and brand recognition, because I I look at what I looked like six months ago and I'm like, that's a totally different person. Like she didn't even look like herself now. I actually wore a wig when I initially did this look. Or no, I took pictures of it without the wig, which is my natural curly hair. And then I wanted to wear the wig for the look because I added a witch hat. I don't really know why I need to wear a wig for this look. I really didn't have to. Well, obviously I really like the look that I did. I did this like orangish yellow eyeshadow and I added graphic liner and I had a really like juicy, I don't like using that word, but it's accurate. Like the lip gloss and the lip color that I had on in this, video, in this picture was Juicy, okay? Like, it was. I'm a big fan of this look. Um, love me some good graphic eyeliner with a little bit of like a milk makeup eye stamp. Like, I think I had the star eye stamp in this. And one more I did last October, and it was my Poison Ivy makeup look. And this one was the first time I ever had a video do really well on TikTok. They replaced my blood with aloe, my skin with chlorophyll, and filled my lips. With Venom. Oh. I like this look because I think I, I did my own spin on Poison Ivy. I did my hair in these little space bun kind of things. Next, I included some from this year that I didn't do in October. Like some of these I did in March, April, May, with the ones that I did at the beginning of the year. And I still counted these because they're cosplay style. I did the three looks for Birds of Prey which Birds of Prey came out at the end of January, so I did my Harley Quinn look. I added this like pattern on the cheek because in the promo shots for Birds of Prey, she had this like quilt or something on her wall, or and there was like something in the poster, and I incorporated those elements in to my makeup look. Well, I use that blonde wig a lot, <laughs> I'm real lately. And next, I did Harris. This one, I'm definitely putting in the most iconic because this is when I had a lot of root regrowth, from my hair just growing out over time since I dyed it, since I bleached it. But I kind of like the way it looks with this look because I braided it on the side, but then on this side I have like a big, like kind of wave almost. I love Huntress, like she's so iconic. And this look was really easy to do because I just had to do some graphic eyeliner and that's purple in there, like it was so fun. And then Black Canary. I think I'll have to put this in She Tried Her Best. Not that it's not good, because also the hair looks fire with like the, I did the same thing but instead of braiding it on the side I just pinned the side back with a bunch of body pins wing and the liner doesn't look as good as so that's why I'm just putting it in she tried her us even though I do like this look I think the color combination looks pretty awesome but out of the three I definitely like the Harley Quinn look and Huntress better than I mean on I think I'll talk about my Scooby Doo series now these are kind of out of order like I did them at random times like I did most of them in March and April and then I finished the series literally last month so first I did Fred once again I think I could have done a better job at blending the eyeshadow I'm gonna put this in cookie cutter even though it's a good look and this is one a lot of my videos on TikTok first started doing really well because people really liked my Scooby-Doo series then I did Scooby which I don't like it looks so bad to me I'm gonna put it in 
Honestly, I'm gonna put it in Everybody Makes Mistakes. I know that's dramatic, but I do not have a good memory of this look. Then the lip color actually is pretty unique. I don't think I've ever really done a lip color like that, so it's kind of cool, but... <sighs> Next, I did my shaggy look. I'm putting this in the most iconic because this look, I did this like rainbow eye, but then the majority of the eye was green and the lips were green because it's like shaggy. But then I tried to make him have this rainbow design. I just thought it was so cool because I incorporated like shaggy's kind of like a hippie and I wanted to <laughs> incorporate like a rainbow or like tie dye design. So I thought this one was really fun and I could have just done like a shaggy color scheme like green and brown but that wouldn't have been as fun you know and I really wanted the point to get across like this is Shaggy he is a hippie do you remember that song so groovy from alien invaders like y'all remember that because I do that was one of my favorite songs I still get it stuck in my head World going board to board. We'll spend this channeling the vibe of that song and like Shaggy as a character when I created this look and I feel like I was pretty successful. Um, next is Velma. I think Velma, even though, see, I don't even care like how well the, the look did because this Velma look is my most liked TikTok. It has over a million views and it has like over 300,000 likes. That's my most liked video ever was, I'll show it right here. Daphne, are you okay? You look... unperfect. Velma, when you were going out with Shaggy, did you ever have trust issues? He dumped me for a dog. A dog! Then he started acting all, I want you, Velma, again, before I sent him back to his dog. So yeah, there were a few trust issues. Objectively, I don't think it's one of my best looks. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like Velma, like the character. I think the base I did looks good, but the wig, the overall composition of this look is not one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna put it in She Tried Her Best. And I know that's not traumatic because I do like the eyeshadow, like, I think separately the elements of this look are bad. But together, next, I did the mystery machine. And I know exactly where I'm putting this one. Right in She Tried Her Best. This was probably the hardest look that I've ever done before. The fact that I decided to paint the mystery machine on the middle of my face, it's so hard to get the line straight. And also, like, when you're painting over your nose, your face is not straight. It's not like you're painting on a piece of paper. It's so different. It's so much more complicated. Say, hypothetically, I try this look again next year. I don't think I can do a better job. I don't think so. Because this, I did like the best I could. I, I gave it my all. The line work just makes me mad. I'm glad I did it. Because I had it in my, I had that idea in my head for so long. So next is my Daphne look, which um, I filmed a video of me creating this. You probably will not see that video until December because I'm going to do three other looks to go with the first one I did. And then now I'm just going to go through my most recent looks and I like most of these. So this one I did, it was inspired by The Weeknd, After Hours, when After Hours came out. And I'm going to put this in She Tried Her Best because honestly, I think this is a good look. I like the color scheme. I love the bright red with the yellow blush and like the glossy lids, the, the wig, it all, it looks good overall, you know. But I think the special effects, like the, the fake blood that I use, I don't think I use real fake blood. I think I just did like some face paint like I had before. And it doesn't look that realistic. I think the drips don't look that good. And at the time when I was creating this, I was like, oh, the drips like don't look so realistic, but I don't know how else to make them look realistic. So, you know, I do, this is overall a good look. So next I did this pink tiger look. This is actually inspired by Abby Roberts. She did one that was blue and since I want to be a little different and like have my own twist on things, I decided to make mine hot pink. I love this look. I think it was so fun. It actually wasn't that hard because it was like actual face painting, but I used a lot of eyeshadow for this too. I want to do more looks like this where you just totally transform your whole face, but it's not that hard. Next we have this look that I did that was inspired by Gaga, the applause, um, the music video, and I'm going to put this in She Tried Her Best, even though I know I like this look, and I, I do like it at the time, I was proud of it, I was satisfied with how it turned out, but I do think, eh, but okay, the reason why I'm putting it in She Tried Her Best is because I don't think I can do better 
like I did my best I'm not like completely happy with it and I can't tell you exactly why because the thing about like the makeup for applause it looks so effortless it just looks like that was the first attempt whereas when you try to recreate something that's so abstract and so effortless it's hard to make it look like it was spontaneous that's exactly why I'm not completely satisfied with this thing. So next I did this look. This is probably one of my favorites. I did this like Halloween kind of abstract orange eyeshadow and purple kind of spiderweb makeup look. And I did orange lashes. I haven't done a lot of colored lashes recently. It was just a good way to like to kick off um, my Halloween looks this year even though I didn't do that many. But I just, I really like the lips. Like the lip shape turned out really well. and. I think my camera quality like really really showed up here. I'm really proud to post this one even if it didn't do like that well. I don't even remember how well it did but I think that is the most iconic. And then next I did this Bride of Chucky look and I don't think I'm gonna talk too much about my Bride of Chucky and my Chucky look because I did a whole tutorial on these looks. That's probably what took up a lot of my time in October is like working on that tutorial and it has over 200 views already and I only posted it like last week so if you are interested in seeing a more in-depth tutorial of me creating my Tiffany Bride of Chucky look and also my Chucky makeup look, um, the tutorial I did on the Bride of Chucky makeup is a lot longer because I did like a chit chat kind of talk tutorial while the Chucky look is a lot shorter because I was just doing my makeup and filming it, but I did a voiceover in that one, so I'm just gonna put these in the most iconic because I really do like how these turned out. Please check that out if you're interested. Um, I think it's one of my better, like, more in-depth, like, informational tutorials, but it's also fun because of the looks, so definitely check that out. I'm just, I'm really proud of those. And I did this lighthouse inspired makeup look, which I'm gonna put in the most iconic because, well, one, I posted that today, actually, and um, my hair doesn't look the greatest because my roots were so worn out with that. Not the greatest. But um, I did this like black and white inspired makeup look. Like my inspiration was the movie The Lighthouse that came out last year with Willem Dafoe and Bob Patterson. So I just face painted this lighthouse on my face and it's kind of spooky. Like I, I really like the idea of doing makeup looks inspired by like a random, not random, but like things that not the average makeup artist would do a look inspired by. I'm gonna do a midsummer inspired makeup look one of these days. Sometime I'm gonna do a midsummer. I'm gonna craft my own flower crown out of fake flowers from Michaels and I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna buy like a flowy white dress like the one she wears when they're doing the Maypole dance, you know? Like I'm gonna go all out for my midsummer look. Like it's gonna be good. I did this look a couple days ago. And I also posted a get ready with me 34 minute long get ready with me on this look. Um, it's not anything special, but it's kind of like a fun, spooky vibe. Like my hair is freshly dyed. Um, and then I did some purple and blue eyeshadow with some cool chunky graphic eyeliner to kind of match the vibe. I used these fun earrings that I got. I talk about all this in the video I filmed. So check that out if you're interested. It's right here because I just kind of sat down without any expectations except for just creating and playing with eyeshadow and that's usually when my best looks come out. Um, and then last but not least I did this devil inspired makeup that I hate. I did this because I was in a collab and we did demons and angels so I'm gonna put this in she tried her best because honestly I don't even think I can do a better job. The face paint I was using it was like this red face paint. It was very like shiny and even though I put powder on it it still ended up being shiny so in the pictures you know my camera flashes and it reflects off of the shininess of the face paint and then I did these like black tears that I wasn't super fond of and but the thing about this look is it didn't even take me that long so it's not even it's not even a big deal. I did these little devil horns and I made them out of my own hair and that took me a while to like nail that down and then the, the final outcome I wasn't even super proud of so whatever. But that is it. Let me zoom out to show you the full <clears throat> um, area. So I think I put the most in the top category, the most iconic, and then I put the second most in She Tried Her Best, which is, that sounds about right, because with that one, it was kind of mediocre, looks that I wasn't super happy with, but I couldn't really done anything more to make them better. I just talked forever, if you liked the looks that you saw, consider 
following me on Instagram. Uh, my username is Makeup and Mystery. Don't think I'm gonna be posting that much in November because I am trying to not drop out of college. And in order to not drop out of college, I have to pass my accounting class. So consider also following me on TikTok because that is where I post more creative videos with music and show more of my personality. So follow me on there. I hope you've had a great Halloween. I am not even doing anything on Halloween. I'm going to pass out candy with my grandma. But I hope you had a great Halloween and did whatever was best for you in the moment. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you. Bye.